Hi, my name is Bridget South, and this month in class we were told to, we needed to be emulating a pro photographer for our assignment. The photographer that I chose is Elliot Erwitt. He's a French photographer that spent a lot of his life traveling. Uh, he spent some time in the U.S. Army and still took pictures there, as well as in high school before. And after, he was decommissioned from the armed forces. He's got such a really interesting way of looking at things, and most of his work is in black and white, so I feel like it captures the surroundings, and there's not as many distractions getting in the way of his work. He did do a lot of work in advertisements and such, so I decided to emulate a photograph that was commissioned for use by an illuminating company called Artemide. The idea behind my image was to grasp the bright highlights while maintaining the shadows in the emulated image. I'm going to be using my daughter as a model and potentially having this photography work in my kitchen or a public place with a hard floor so I can get the image just right with the floor looking right. And I'll be shooting in full color, obviously, but working in Photoshop and be black and white so the colors are still that so that I can emulate the photographer correctly. When I first started this class, I was nervous. I've never handled a camera more complex than my cell phone, and I've never tried to handle one either. So the idea of planning out my shoots and trying to already know what shots I wanted before going out was overwhelming, as I was just always someone who took pictures in the heat of the moment as I found inspiration or something I wanted to capture. Through this class I learned how to anticipate inspiration or anticipate my shoots so that if I need something specific I know how to get it and what to do if I don't get the shots that I specifically want so that I can have a list of things that I have to have captured before my shoot can be considered complete which is a huge help now. I now know how to plan a shoot and make sure I get everything I need before even picking up a camera. I can't wait to explore more of the settings in my camera, as well as possibly a few added features such as a tripod and adding some new lenses. I'm very interested in macro shots, for, and the lens I've got isn't currently all that great for those. Um, I also look forward to learning how to composite images together to create entirely new works and looks of art. 